The Indiana Democratic Party came together today to highlight how the American Rescue Plan is helping Hoosiers recover from COVID-19. And we're taking a closer look at how the money is being spent a year after it was allocated by the federal government. WRTV's Meredith Hackler talked with two city department leaders about how the funding is helping. The city of Indianapolis received $237 million in federal funding from the American Rescue Plan. A large portion of those funds are being dedicated to violence reduction. $37.5 million will go towards a gun violence reduction strategy, which includes hiring more peacemakers. $45 million is going towards grassroots organizations, and $30 million is dedicated to mental health programming. The deputy director of violence reduction says the money is already being put to good use. We've been able to grow our team from about 10 to 12 individuals to right now we're currently at 40. Um, we are well on our way to the 50 peacemakers that we're wanting to have. Indy Parks is also receiving funding through the federal stimulus package. The $16.5 million allocated will be dedicated to park improvements, but the funding can't be used at just any park in the city. Areas uh, that might have high crime, uh, poverty or things of that nature, so they've identified certain census tracts. Indy Park's principal park planner says improving those parks could lead to a reduction in crime, which is a goal of revitalizing efforts. When you make improvements and you get more people in a park, usually the things that we don't want happening in parks go away. And so when you make the improvements, you get more eyes, families, people in parks, uh, and, you know, all the negative goes away. Investments in underserved communities will also come from the Office of Public Health and Safety through American Rescue Plan dollars, not only by violence reduction, but by investing in grassroots organizations. Helping them in the long run be able to pull those grants and pull that funding that they could get on their own um, by the things that we help them understand and learn from. Meredith Hackler, WRTV News. Indy Park says they hope to start construction by the beginning of next year and finish updates by the end of the summer or in early fall of 2023.